Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the IX defender, Lisandro Martinez. And then we're going to be moving on towards Memphis Depay. And then lastly, talk about the future of Xavi Hernandez and what decision Barcelona should take when it comes to hiring a new coach in order to replace Ronald Koeman. So there is a lot that we do need to discuss today. And we are first going to be talking about Lisandro Martinez. So before I do get into the report about this player, I do want to give a backstory on what's going on when it comes to Barcelona. Barcelona's defensive line. So the idea right now is to clean the defensive line and many players are being considered to be either sold or take a step down. And that includes Samuel Umtiti, players like Longley, Gerard Piquet, and many other players that is currently on loan. And one of those players is Todibo. And it says here, according to Al Equipe, OGC Nice wants to keep Todibo permanently and they do intend to activate the purchase option of 8.5 million euros plus 7 million euros in variables and are negotiating with the players over a four-year deal. Todibo's desire is also to stay in France and continue playing for Nice. So it does seem like Todibo is very comfortable. He has also made it very clear that he does not want to move away from France and does not want to go back to FC Barcelona because he has had a very bad experience. Barcelona, on the other hand, do believe that Todibo is not at that level that they do require him to be at. And to put it quite simply, Barcelona do want to move on from this player due to sporting reasons and the financial reasons. If Barcelona can get a total of 8.5 million euros plus an extra 7 million euros in variables, I strongly do believe Barcelona do want to do exactly that and especially when they are in this current situation. Now the main reason why I want to bring this report in, it is because Todibo will not be the only player that will be leaving Barcelona within the next 6 to 7 months. Todibo is just the start and Barcelona do want to reinforce their defensive line and one of those players is Lisandro Martinez and within Ajax, they have considered Lisandro Martinez to be the replacement of Delit, which is very interesting. And it says here, according to Ferran Martinez, Barcelona is closely following Ajax Lisandro Martinez to strengthen their left center back position. The club believes his price could be around 25 million euros. The possibility of adding a player in the operation to make this deal more affordable is not yet ruled out either. So look, when it comes to this player here, it's a very interesting prospect because he is 23 years old. He is from Argentina and he has arrived at Ajax on July 2009. 19 and ever since that date ever since he has made his debut and came in the summer and replaced Delit, he has been playing extraordinary when it comes to him being good on the ball he is great on the ball when it comes to making tackles and interceptions Lisandro Martinez is also very great at doing so now here's the thing when it comes to this young Argentinian center back is he one of the tallest center backs that you could see in Europe he is not he is a player that is short for a center back but does that matter though does it matter that Lisandro Martinez Martinez is not one of the tallest center backs in Europe. It really doesn't matter because when it comes to Lisandro Martinez playing in Barcelona, if Barcelona do play their game and they become a team where they do want to keep the ball on the ground and play the football that they should be playing, the height does not matter. There has been an extraordinary amount of center backs that have not been the tallest in order to play for Barcelona, but they have succeeded and Lisandro Martinez can do the exact same thing. And moving on towards the price tag, right? If Barcelona can actually bring in Lisandro Martinez for 20 25 million euros that is a bargain because this is a center back that has a lot of talent so if Barcelona do end up in a position where they are capable to sign a player like him I would strongly suggest to do so and if Barcelona next season can have players such as Eric Garcia Ronald Araujo Minguesa and Lisandro Martinez Barcelona is going to be having a defensive line that will be serving this club for many years to come moving on towards the next topic and we are going to be talking about Memphis Depay and we do have some small details regarding this player and it's says here that Barcelona's idea is to get Memphis Depay regardless whether Ronald Koeman continues with this club or not. Barcelona are also willing to offer Memphis Depay a two to three year contract. And this is very strange to hear, right? Because many assumed that the only reason why Depay was linked to Barcelona, it was because of Ronald Koeman, who did take over Barcelona back on August 2020. And ever since that month, Memphis Depay has been linked to FC Barcelona. And we have heard many reports stating that Ronald Koeman has talked to Memphis Depay before and that he wants to bring that player in to his club. And that was the conclusion that many did have is that Memphis Depay was a signing not from Barcelona, but a signing coming from Ronald Koeman. And here's what really worries me, right? I have explained this before, but I'm going to go into greater detail on why I'm going to be saying this. And I want you guys to keep in mind before we do go into these points, Sergio Aguero will be signing with Barcelona for a total of two years. Memphis Depay is also going to be another player that will be signing for two years. And what I'm going to 
be saying here is going to be just a feeling, right? Nothing here is going to be factual, but I'm going to be making two points when it comes to Memphis Depay signing a two-year deal with FC Barcelona. Point number one, I strongly believe that Barcelona are taking advantage of the free players that are available in the summer, and that is Memphis Depay, Sergio Aguero, and Eric Garcia. Going on to point number two, I have a great feeling that because Barcelona do see these free transfers in the summer, they see no risk. And because they see no risk, they are willing to offer these players a two-year contract. And when you offer these players a two-year contract, your intentions is to not build with these players in the long term, which makes me believe that Barcelona want to maintain these players until they actually do sign the player that they actually do want within the front line. And that is Erling Haaland. Because if Barcelona, right, if Joan Laporta, Mateo Alemani, and Ramon Planes really wanted these players that they are signing, which is Aguero and Memphis Depay, to be part of an era that they are going to be building for the next six to seven years, they would have gotten a longer contract, and especially for Memphis Depay. But here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with giving these players a two-year contract, because I do think that if Memphis Depay and Aguero were to come and play next season alongside Messi, Ansu Fati, and Dembele, we could be very competitive, and we could be one of the best teams in the world with these players. I just think that it's very fascinating to hear that Barcelona are choosing this route. But that is going to be the final conclusion in terms of this report. Barcelona want to strengthen their front line for the short term on a two-year contract with the players like Sergio Aguero and Memphis Depay. And now I do want to move on towards the next topic, which is the last topic of today, and that is going to be about Xavi Hernandez. So one thing is very clear. Xavi Hernandez is an option for Barcelona. But as of late, it has been said that many people within the club do see Xavi in a very different way. And I'm going to be explaining what I do mean by this. And it says here, according to Fernando Polo, there are some internal voices within the board who believe that Xavi is the best option to lead the first team right now. Joan Laporta, however, is more keen on making him a Barcelona B coach first so that he gains more experience. No decision is made yet. So going into this summer, when it comes to Xavi Hernandez, he is going to be given two options. It is going to be to either coach the first team or to coach the Barcelona B team. And there are many fans in Barcelona that are siding with Xavi Hernandez coaching the first team or there is another side where they do believe that Xavi Hernandez is not ready, he is inexperienced and that he should coach the Barcelona B team and then later go into the first team. And this is what gets very complicated, right? This is all going to lead towards Joan Laporta making a decision that may not be the most popular. But here's the one thing that I do want to point out that ultimately makes me believe that Xavi Hernandez could become the coach of Barcelona within the next season and replace Ronald Koeman. So first things first, Joan Laporta's priority is to renew Lionel Messi's contract in this coming summer. And one of the ways that he has to do it is going to be to convince Messi on the sporting project. Yes, there is a side where he is going to try and give Lionel Messi a financial audit and how much they could pay Lionel Messi for the next four to five years. But what's ultimately going to be very important for Lionel Messi is going to be the sporting project. That is the best way he could convince this player to continue. And many reports as of late was stating that Juan Laporta is going to have to present towards Lionel Messi on who is going to be within the squad and who who is going to be coaching the Barcelona first team. That is what Messi wants to know. And if Joan Laporta wants to present that within the coming summer, he is going to have to know exactly what coach is going to be coaching the first team and what players are going to be leaving and what players are going to be arriving. He needs to know that before he does approach Lionel Messi and say, this is our sporting project. And this is what's going to lead us towards the next point. Do you really think that it's going to be a great idea for Joan Laporta to approach Lionel Messi and say, we're going to be having Garcia Pimienta to coach the first team in the next season and then and then have Xavi Hernandez depending on how it goes and assuming that he does well to coach Barcelona in the following season. Because if Juan Laporta approaches Messi in that way, that is going to greatly show that there is uncertainty within the board. And what does that mean, right? What does it mean that there is uncertainty within the board? I do not think that it would make any sense to appoint two coaches within a span of two years. Barcelona do have a history of doing that in the past 18 months. Because do you think that it would be in Messi's best interest to know that he had Valverde back on January 2020 and that he had Kiki Setien back on February 2020 and then later down the year he had Ronald Koeman on August 2020 only for him to be replaced in the following summer on July 2021 by Garcia Pimienta and then in the following season which will be the 2022-2023 season for Garcia Pimienta to be replaced by Xavi Hernandez. That would be a total of five coaches in two years. Barcelona do need to be in a position where they have to maintain one coach and to go with one idea. And yes, it's true that Garcia Pimienta and Xavi Hernandez might be having some similarities.
similarities because Garcia Pimienta is a coach that has coached the youth Barcelona for a very long time and then we have Xavi Hernandez who has been through the academy and has played for Barcelona through the majority of his career but what is going to be very different between Garcia Pimienta and Xavi Hernandez it is going to be the style of play and how they approach different situations within the game that is what's ultimately going to be different and if you continue to change those things every 12 months the squad is going to continue to be very unstabilized and right now we do need to maintain and stabilize this team so if there was a time to approach Xavi Hernandez and have him become the coach it would be in this coming summer and get him into a long-term deal but that's going to be it for today's Barcelona daily news thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and I will see you guys in the next video